Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make simple syrup. And this is all to show you how you can make simple syrup at home and save yourself some money. Now, simple syrup, or sugar syrup as it's sometimes called, and those terms are interchangeable, uh, is the basics of one of the fundamentals of cocktail creation. And when I say that, you'll actually find some form of syrup in almost every type of cocktail. So with the basics here of simple syrup, you'll be able to play around and make some changes, add fruits, add different types of spices to give yourself a wide variety of flavors while also sweetening your cocktail. Now you only need a couple of things. The first thing you need is some kind of element, something that you can warm it up. Yeah, you can use a pot, I'm using a glass dish just so that you can actually see what's physically happening. You're going to need something to stir it with. You'll need water. You'll need some sugar, and that's white granulated sugar, also known as castor sugar. You'll also need a couple of things like a funnel and a bottle to store it in the fridge, right? So really simple. Simple syrup is a one-to-one -one ratio. And when I say one-to-one -one ratio, I mean one part water, one part sugar in equal amounts, either volumetrically or if it's scaled out by mass. Now we're going to start this with water and I'm using eight ounces, which is 240 milliliters of water. The next thing we're going to add now is our white sugar, our granulated sugar, castor sugar, whatever you want to call it. And you want to use the exact same amount of eight ounces or 204 grams. After you've thrown these together, you want to actually set your heat to a medium heat. You don't want to heat it really fast or really hard because you don't want this to boil. So what you will do is you will actually begin stirring this to begin the process of actually having the sugar absorbed into the water. So what you're going to do is you're going to continuously stir this while you're actually heating this up. So what's going to happen is you have the sugar molecule which is being absorbed directly by the water molecule. And the reason you're stirring this is you just want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom because you don't want this to caramelize. You want this to be clear, have the sweetness, but without adding or changing the color of the cocktail that you're working on. And this whole process is going to take you roughly between three to five minutes depending upon the heat that you're using and the constant agitation that you're giving this. And as you can tell, it's actually clearing up even more. And as you can tell, this is clearing up quite a lot. In fact, it's almost transparent as we speak. And you'll just keep going. You want it to go completely clear, just like this. Once you've got it to this stage, you're essentially done. It's clear, it's exactly what you want. So turn your heat off and let it cool down for a bit. So set this off to the side. Now, one of the questions that you're gonna ask me is, David, how long will basic simple syrup last in your fridge for? And that's a month. Now you could get something that's store-bought and stabilized, so it'll give you a longer lasting period. However, A, you're gonna pay more for it, and you're also going to get some additives that you really just don't wanna have. So all you wanna do is fill your bottle. And here you go, your very own one-to-one -one simple syrup. And you're gonna get just enough out of this, and because of the way the water molecules and the sugar molecules go together, you really don't need a bigger bottle. I would use something that's 10 ounces or 300 milliliters. I'm using an eight ounce bottle. That's why I have a little bit left over. And there you go. Simple syrup for your cocktails. Put it in the fridge, let it cool down, and away you go. If you like syrups and how to make them and other cocktail ingredients, take a look right up here.